Hi everyone, my name is Valerie Chalangat and I am a guest reader for Black History Month Read Along. I am excited to share this book with you and I hope that you'll enjoy it as much as I do. Suwe by Lupita Nyong'o. Lupita Nyong'o is actually from my home country, Kenya. All right, let's get into it. <clears throat> Suwe was born the color of midnight. She looked nothing like her family, not even a little, not even at all. Mama was the color of dawn. So that's Mama, and that's Zoe. Baba, the color of dusk. And that's Baba, right there. And Mitch, her sister, was the color of high noon. And that's Zoe's sister. Hardly anyone at school looked like Zoe either. People gave her sister Mitch pet names like Sunshine and Ray and Beauty. People gave Zoe names like Blackie and Darkie and Night. Zoe felt hurt every time. So she hid away while her sister made lots of friends. Zoe dreamed of being the same color as her sister. She wanted real friends too. So here's Suwe, all alone, wishing that she looked like her sister. And these are all the wishes that she has of, you know, her and her friends playing. Um, there, I hope you can see. Okay. So she got the biggest eraser she could find and tried to rub off a layer or two of her darkness. That hurt. She crept into Mama's room and helped herself to her makeup. Oh no, she would hear about this from Mama. <laughs> and here's Sue. First she's rubbing off her skin color, and then here she's trying to wear makeup. Here she has a lot of makeup on. Sue decided to work from the inside out and ate only the lightest, brightest food. I think you can see her here. She's eating bananas and bread and all the white foods that she could find. With a stomach ache, she went to bed early and turned to God for a miracle. Dear Lord, why do I look like midnight when mother looks like dawn? Please make me as fair as the parents I am from. I want to be beautiful, not just to pretend. I want to have daylight. I want to have friends. If you hear me, my Lord, and would like to comply, may I wake up as bright as the sun in the sky. Amen. When Mama came in to wake up for school the next morning, Suwe rose to find not a trace of daylight in her midnight skin. And look at her. She wakes up, oh, here she is, and runs to the mirror to look at herself when her Mama wakes her up. Suwe told Mama everything. Mama asked, what is your name? Suwe, she muttered, and what does it mean? Star, Suwe whispered. Brightness is not in your skin, my love. Brightness is just who you are. As for beauty, Mama said, rubbing Suwe's stomach the way she always did to comfort her. You are beautiful, Suwe whispered. Suwe sighed. Well, you are beautiful to me, but you can't rely on what you look like to make you feel beautiful, my sweet. Real beauty comes from your mind and your heart. It begins with how you see yourself, not how others see you. Now, up you get and out you go. How could she, as dark as she was, have brightness in her? So we wondered. How could she have beauty when no one but her mother seemed to see it? How could she be a star? 
That night, a shooting star appeared at Sulu's window. The night sent me, the star said, come with me. So there it is. There's a star, and that's Sulu up there. Sulu hopped onto the star, and off they went. So here they are, going, so we're on the star. <laughs> Long ago, at the beginning of time, said the star, there was night and day, and there were sisters. They loved each other very much, but people didn't treat the sisters the same. So here are the sisters, night, and day. Okay. People gave day pet names like lovely and nice and pretty. People gave nights names like scary and bad and ugly. She felt hurt every time. Well, night got fed up and walked right off the earth. <clears throat> Day stayed behind and enjoyed making everybody happy in the sun. But then Day grew too long. Day began to really miss her sister. So did everybody else. There had to be a way to get her back. That was Day thinking. Day set off to find night. And she did. I miss you, said Day. I miss you too, said Knight, but you don't know what it's like to be treated bad badly for being dark. You're right, I don't, Day replied, but what, do, but what I do know is that we need you just the way you are. Come and see. Okay, so here we have Day going to look for Knight, and then here Day finds Knight. And then on this page, we have them talking. So that's night and that's day. Night returned and the people rejoiced. We need the, dark, we need the darkest night to get the deepest rest. We need you so that we can grow and dream and keep our secrets to ourselves. The stars chimed in. Brightness isn't just for daylight. Light comes in all colors, and some light can only be seen in the dark. While day has a golden glow, the night everything had with night everything had a silver sheen, elegant and fine. Day told her sister, when you are the dark is when you are the most beautiful. It's when you are most you. Could it be that night did not need to change? Not even a little? Not even at all. So again, we have day and night speaking to each other. Now that night and day were back together, a little bit of night returned to day in the form of shadows and a little bit of day returned to night in the form of moonlight. They were inseparable from that moment on and promised to separate, to celebrate the brightness in each other, whether people chose to see it or not. So here we're back to Sulu and Star is here and Star is talking to Sulu. You see, the star explained, we need them both on the sunniest day and the darkest night and every shade between. Together they make the world we know, light and dark, strong and beautiful. Sulu rose the next morning, beaming. There would be no hiding anymore. She belonged out in the world, dark and beautiful, bright and strong. <laughs> so there is Zoe smiling and excited and there's her mom. She's just so surprised to see her daughter so happy in the morning. 
<clears throat> and then here we have Zoe looking out at the stars. And if she ever needed a reminder of her brightness, she could look up at the sky on the darkest night to see for herself. Zoe felt beautiful inside and out. So we have come to the end of our reading. I hope that you've enjoyed it. Again, my name is Valerie Chalangat and I love this book. <laughs>